Hello, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks, and today we're going to show you how to optimize your Windows XP machine for optimum use with your satellite phone. Uh, one of the issues that we have with all versions of Windows is that um, they contain programs that like to call home and uh, check for updates, in the case of virus scanners, download virus updates, and so forth. All this chatter over your satellite link causes your performance to be very slow and poor and so what we want to do is we want to optimize your Windows machine to prevent this additional traffic or this extraneous traffic over uh, your link. Now in a previous video I talked about how to do that with Windows Vista and Windows 7. Both of those versions of Windows include a firewall which is bi-directional which prevents outgoing can be configured to prevent outgoing and inbound traffic. The um, Windows firewall that comes with Windows XP is an inbound firewall only. So outgoing traffic is not blocked. So that means that although you're protected from the internet from attack, it doesn't help you with programs that want to, uh, to use the internet that are installed on your computer. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install a firewall that will um, allow us to block outgoing traffic and only prevent the traffic that we want to go over our satellite link. Uh, there's a number of third-party ones out there. You may have one on your computer already. Uh, the one that I'm going to recommend is by uh, a company called uh, Zone Alarm and uh, you can download it from www.zonelabs.com uh, if you go to their home website. I'll show you where that is. Okay, I don't know if I just a second www.zonelabs.com um, you will see that um, under downloads they have a link to free downloads if you select free downloads uh, you'll see zone alarm you can click on download for zone alarm and uh, you'll see the button for the free download here if you just push that and save that on your desktop uh, then you'll have the software. It's completely free and the light version is all you need in order to carry out the tasks that we're that we need to do today. So um, for purposes of efficiency I've already done the download and so I'm going to go ahead and run it and show you how to install and configure this program for use with our uh, Xgate and Xweb uh, software. So we'll just uh, click on that and uh, that'll run the installation wizard and we'll go through and um, select the options for doing the installation. Uh, we're going to customize the installation because we don't want all, all the extra fancy stuff and we have very specific requirements. So I'm going to tell it that we don't want to install the toolbar for our our web browsers. Uh, we do want to put an icon on the desktop. Um, we don't want to hear about information from the uh, from the company so we'll select that. We'll accept the license terms and we'll install the software. Okay, so it's installed it now. We want to go ahead and select the custom installation. We don't want to participate in the defense network. Um, and this automatic smart defense advisor, um, we're going to just set that to off. Basically, we don't want to hear any recommendations about anything that's going to run automatically or anything because we're going to turn everything off except what we want to access the internet. So we'll keep that off and then um, we uh, will tell it not to scan for our programs because we know what programs we want to um, to use for the internet and we'll configure that after the fact and then uh, we'll go ahead and um, restart our computer. Once we do that uh, Zone Alarm will be installed and uh, we'll at that point um, be ready to configure to configure the program. Okay, we're back. You'll notice that Zone Alarm has installed itself um, in the toolbar, and uh, it's popping up some things that it wants questions answered to. Um, one of the things that you'll notice here in the pop-up is that uh, it's detected Xgate. Xgate is our email program and it's asking us if we should allow it to access the internet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes because um, it's certainly one of the programs we want 
access to. And one thing you'll note is that every time you run a new program that is going to try to access the internet, Zone Alarm is going to pop up and ask you if it's okay to allow that program to access the internet. So we're going to say allow and tell it to remember the settings so that we don't ever have to tell it again. Another thing you'll notice here is that we have this um, new dialog that showed up here which is asking us what zone this new internet connection is. It's detected our internet connection, our LAN connection, because we're connected via LAN, and it's asking us if it wants to put this in an internet zone or into a trusted zone. Um, for the purposes of this uh, um, video, we're going to say that everything that we're going to do is going to be an internet zone or untrusted. Uh, every time you open up a new internet connection, for example, when you install an ISAT phone or a Redium 9555 and you make a first connection through that dial-up adapter, um, you'll get this window <clears throat> and the answer that you should uh, t specify is that you want to keep that in the internet zone. So we'll go ahead and say OK. At that point, we're done and we can go ahead and close this window and we have a zone alarm configuration configuration window that comes up. So let's go ahead and configure zone alarm. Um, we're going to go through and uh, take a look at the uh, at the preferences. First thing we want to do is we certainly don't want the program itself to be checking for updates. So I'm going to just say no, do not check for updates. We'll do that. We'll do that manually. Um, okay. Again, when I request information from Zone Alarm, I'll just tell it to tell me so that I'm, I'm sure about that. Next, we're going to go to the firewall, and we're going to basically set everything to high security. So um, we'll do that for the trusted and the internet zones. Um, here are our zones. We don't need to worry about that. We've got one network zone, and every internet connection that you establish through a satellite phone will show up in here, but there's nothing to be done here. Uh, and the program control, we want uh, to be, we want this to be high. Okay, if this will allow me to go high, it may not. And, um, yeah, okay, I guess it's not. I guess it's, you can only set it for um, high if you've paid for um, for uh, for the program. But anyway, it doesn't matter because um, we're going to be able to do everything we need to here. So, And then uh, we, we'll go to this section, Heal Car Programs. Now here, you have listed all the programs that um, are trusted and are allowed internet access. Those are the things with the check marks. You notice that there's several system things in here um, in Windows Explorer being one of one. Well, uh, we don't want that. And then you've got some applications that um, are unknown. And if they were to access the internet, um, basically a uh, zone alarm would ask. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, hey, we want to block everything. And so I'm now trying to block a system program and it's t giving me a warning that says, well, that might stop your machine from working, but hey, I don't want anything accessing that internet connection through my expensive link. So I'm going to go through and just step through these one by one so that everything is blocked. Block, block. Yes, yes. We're going to block that. And finally we're going to block this. So basically the only program that is allowed to access the internet is going to be Xscape. So we're pretty much done here. We can go ahead and close this. Uh, when I close this it tells me that it's not really shutting down the program. It's just putting it into the toolbar, and there it is. Now I can go ahead and uh, click. I'm just going to exit Xgate here. Uh, you'll need to do this the first time you um, you run the program, and then I mean uh, run Zone Alarm, install Zone Alarm, then we'll run Xgate again, and then we'll hit go. And you'll notice that we're able to do our internet connection over the satellite link. I mean over the internet network connection without an issue. Now. If you'll notice now, if I bring up, for example, Internet Explorer, um, it will fail to connect because it's not allowed to connect to the Internet. If you want to browse the Internet with uh, your Internet Explorer, then uh, you will need to create an exception exception for the program. So um, you see, we, we have a failure. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at XWeb. When I want to run XWeb, uh, we'll try to connect to the internet here, and Zone Alarm should pop up and say, hey, we have a new program, in this case Firefox, trying to access the internet. 
uh, should we allow it to have access. The first time you do this, it'll take a little bit of time, so I suggest you do this over an internet connection until you get everything set up. Uh, here it is. It's telling me that Firefox is trying to access the internet, and we want to allow it. So I'm going to go ahead and say allow. And um, here we go. Um, we are now browsing with compression over the internet. There's our X web connection. So, um, and so we can get to the web pages and download um, our pages with compression. If I close this, um, now watch what happens if I try to run Firefox by itself outside of Xgate. You'll notice that it's asking me to allow in and access. I'll say OK. And uh, but since Amazon.com, you will notice that um, it's going to fail. And the reason for that is because we've turned off all the Windows system programs. And in this case, it's failing because it can't actually do a domain name look up for the IP address of Amazon.com and therefore it'll fail. So although in this particular instance we've given access to this particular program, uh, it's not going to run and connect to the internet because I'm running it outside of the Xgate environment. So if I bring up Xgate or if I click on the Xweb icon here in the toolbar, you'll notice that we'll go online and browse with compression and it will work. Amazon.com, um, which uh, it failed when we were connected. So, you know, we're doing what we want to do, which is basically to block all unwanted traffic. Uh, so one last thing. Okay, let's say that uh, we are now connected to the Internet and we indeed do not want to block everything and want to use Internet Explorer to uh, access. What we can do is we can come into Zone Alarm and uh, click on this little icon at the bottom and we can just say um, shut down Zone Alarm. Zone Alarm is now not running on the computer, and if I go to Internet Explorer and run Internet Explorer, you will notice that, oops, uh, .cnn.com, you will notice that it works. So we're back online, MSN, we're back online and everything is working as it should. So. To uh, get Zone Alarm to run again, you can go ahead and just click on it and it'll come up and install itself and block all the traffic. You can exit Zone Alarm and, um, and then it'll open everything up. There is a, if you go to the Zone Alarm settings in here, let's see in the preferences, uh, there is a check mark here for loading Zone Alarm at startup. If you're mostly going to be on the internet and not using your satellite phone and you don't want this to bother you every time you start up your computer, you may want to disable this. And then just manually run Zone Alarm when you're connected to the satellite network or when you're traveling on your boat and so forth. You can go ahead and turn it on so that it comes on every time. Um, so that should do it. Anyway, um, that should optimize your link and give you the best possible performance with your satellite phones. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks. Uh, take care.